Hello my English 818 students, Academic Skills Level 3 for the Technical and Vocational Education. We're going to start our lesson today in Unit 5, which is Write an Opinion Essay. We're going to have three main objectives to accomplish or achieve today and we will introduce expressions used in presenting arguments. Second thing, we will identify the layout of writing an opinion essay. Of course, to finish that, we will write an opinion essay. Now, let me ask you this question and I want you to think carefully. Can you suggest some topics that you can argue about? What is argue about is to give me arguments. Are you with or are you against? Do you have like a point of view related to this idea? Either you are with this idea or maybe you're against this idea. Think about topics that we could argue about and let's see together. It could be high social media usage. As you know, the majority of not only teenagers, but the majority of the society use social media huge way. So what do you think about this topic? Is it going to be a good topic to, to argue about or not? I think yes. Moreover, eating junk food. This is a very good uh, topic to be argued about also. Being a vegetarian person, as you know now, we have a lot of people who turn to be vegetarians. So what do you think? Are you with or are you against? Consumerism, which I'm going to talk about more in details later. Globalization. There are a lot of other topics that we could discuss, but let's see what is exactly the meaning of arguing. Now, arguing about something is, look at this picture. This symbolizes the meaning of argue. You are either with the green picture, you are with and you agree with it, or you are with the red picture, which means you are against the idea. And here where you need to tell me your arguments. If you are with, why? If you are against, you have to elaborate your point of view or your reasons. Presenting arguments. I want you to pay a full attention to this lesson as presenting arguments is really important and it has some techniques so that you can follow and achieve it well in writing later on. Let's see. It is important to stage your arguments clearly. Use words and phrases such as, now let's think about the topic of social media usage. If you want to argue about this topic, you have to tell me the main argument. What is the main argument? It's whether you are with, you are for, or you are against the idea. And then you present your argument starting with in the first place, or you could say firstly. Let's see an example. The main argument against the excessive use of social media in the first place is that it will have a negative effect on the teenager's minds. Pay attention. The main argument against, once I, rem once I mention the word against, I am telling the readers that I am against this idea. I am not for or with the idea. Now, you have to tell me what is the topic. The topic is the excessive use of social media. And then present at least the first argument with saying, in the first place or firstly, it will have a negative effect on the teenager's minds. Let's move on. Another strong argument is, you have to tell me what is your strong argument here? And you tell me in the second place or secondly and mention your argument. Let's see the example. Another strong argument in the second place. Here I'm showing the reader that I have other reasons, other arguments. So what comes in the second place or secondly? 
is that the high usage of social media apps is likely to produce a corruption in the community. Now, this is my second argument. I have presented the first one here, and I've, sh I've showed the people that I'm against the idea. And I presented the argument. Going on the second thing, again, I did the same thing. I presented another strong uh, argument, and I gave an example. Let's go on now with presenting arguments. It is also important to note that here, I want to tell the readers that I have another point of view. I am adding extra arguments. Here's an example. It is also important to note that the excessive use of social media application causes brain damage or whatever is your argument. But you have to follow one by one your arguments using these expressions. Of course, when I want to finish, I have to mention lastly, finally, and give me an argument. Let's see the example. Lastly, the high usage of social media has proved that the majority of the kids can't have interest in useful things like reading books. We had four examples of strong arguments and I have to present my arguments one by one using the uh, expressions used in presenting arguments. This is very important. I hope you are writing down notes about it. Now, let me tell you one extra important thing or essential thing in presenting arguments in academic writing. It is important to present arguments in a consistent way which means you can do one of the following. Let's see. You either start by topic itself. Here's an example. A paragraph on food, for example. You have to start with the paragraph immediately. You talk about the positives and the negatives. And then uh, you tell me your arguments. Or it could be a paragraph about cars or any topic. You will start with positives and negatives. Here, you're following this way. You're starting your argument, opinion, essay by topic. Or it could be another way, which is by viewpoint or your personal opinion. In this case here, you will do the following. Paragraphs on the positive points, then paragraphs on the negative points. So you have two ways. You're free to write your opinion essay uh, in two ways. You either tell me about the topic and you list the positive and negatives together or you can tell me what is the paragraph about and you list a paragraph about positives and then you move on with another paragraph on the negative points. The choice is yours. Now, the chosen topic that we are going to write as required from you in the book is Consumerism. Look at this man, look at the picture. What does it symbolize? Or what can you think about the topic consumerism? What is consumerism? Another picture. The first one we had sign of money. Here we have sign of credit cards. So yes, it has to do with buying things. It has to do with customers. It has to do with spending money. Let's see. The root of consumerism is consumer. Consumerism, let's imagine we are omitting the I, S, M. It is consumer. Who is consumer? It's me, customer, people. So let's see. It refers, it refers to a movement, the word consumerism now, refers to a movement that promotes the interests of consumers. The interests of me being a customer or a consumer. People who purchase goods, use them, and then buy more of them. So consumerism here talks about the people who buy things and keep on buying things and keep spending money on things. Are you for or against consumerism? Let's see. This is the layout that we have to follow to write about consumerism or about any other topic that you can argue about in an opinion essay. Let's see the layout. The first paragraph, 
you will describe the topic that you are going to argue about generally. Pay attention to this, my dear students. I am saying to argue about. You're not going to talk generally about anything or describe anything. No, here you have to argue. Either you are with or you are against. So, use expressions that show if you are with or against the topic. This is as I have previously told you. Plus, mention the aspects or the areas that you will argue about. Choose the topic. Take some areas related to the topic and the floor is yours, argue about it. And this will be, of course, in the second paragraph, which is the body. You will present your arguments about each aspect with providing examples. You have to use linking words to link your ideas. And of course, the last paragraph, which is the conclusion, you will mention your personal opinion about the topic in general. Whether you, you like it or you're going to change your mind about it or you dislike it, give me an example to elaborate extra words or examples. Now, let's write an opinion essay about consumerism. We will follow the details which were mentioned at the layout. Pay attention and it will be very easy. So, this is the essay. Starting with the introduction, this essay will describe the possible results of the increased co consumerism. Here, I'm not just talking about consumerism, but the increased consumerism. This is a fact that people see. There, the consumerism is increasing, so we're going to argue about this topic. It will argue its negative effects. Once you hear or you see negative effects, this tells you that the writer is against the idea and he's not with it. Of course, he's going to mention his arguments later on. So now, what are the four main areas here? In four main areas, which are food, transport, tourism, and clothing. So, in the next paragraph, the writer will describe the arguments about four main areas related to consumerism. I mean, what is the relation between food and increased consumerism, transport with consumerism, tourism, clothing with the increased consumerism. We're going to see in the next paragraph, get ready. So, to start with, it is clear that an increase in the consumption of food will lead to an increase in the amount of packaging that cannot or can't be recycled. For example, plastic is difficult to be recycled. The second point to be considered is the effect of an increase in the demand of transport. For example, an increase in the consumption of cars will lead to an increase in air pollution. Here, I'm clarifying what does the transport and the food have to do with the consumerism. These are the negative effects as explained by the writer. Moreover, the increase in consuming clothing, we said before that we are going to talk about four main areas. We have already spoke about the food and the transportation. Now we're coming to the clothing. Let's see. The increase in consuming clothing will encourage the focus on appearance because of social media. Another key point in increasing consumerism is in tourism. This increase will limit the locals' ability to move freely in tourist attraction areas and malls. So yes, the tourism as well as the clothing have negative uh, aspects um, related to consumerism. I have clarified these four areas here at the body and we have given examples. Let's move to the conclusion here where you have to state your opinion. Pay attention, focus. To sum up, and this is an expression used to show the readers that I'm finishing my essay. In my opinion, the increased consumerism is an act that should be stopped due to its negative effects on our society. So here, the writer still is emphasizing that he's against the consumerism. Therefore, 
we should try to educate people about the damages caused by it. It, instead of saying consumerism once again. Now here I have presented my personal point of view and I have clarified or elaborated why am I against the idea. We come to the end of this essay writing and I will definitely ask, ask you to write an opinion essay about any topic of your choice. Pay attention. The topic that you will choose, my dear students, have to be argued about. Don't choose any easy topic that you can't argue about. You should present your uh, point of view, like if you're with or if you are against. Uh, I'll ask you to refer back to your books. English 818, Academic Skills, Level 3, page 37 for the proper structure. Follow the layout. Use phrases presenting arguments with supportive examples. We come to the end of our lesson. Thank you so much for watching and I hope it was easy and short for you. See you very soon. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.